Good afternoon. Um, I am happy to talk to you about our project. The project Making Mysticism deals with the rise of mysticism, that is, the immediate experience of the divine in late medieval Europe. A central source is the catalog of the Carthusian Library Erfurt, begun by Carthusian clerics in the year 1474. As a library catalog, it is not only a register of books, but also reveals ways of writing, ways of thinking, and an order of knowledge. Additionally, it contains treatises on how to read and experience spiritual texts. From a technical perspective, our task is to make this catalog and related material, uh, material accessible and to some extent virtually reconstruct and reunify the lost library of the Erfurt Carthusians. What we did so far is this. Firstly, we scanned the mentioned catalog and other related material. Secondly, to make hundreds of scans accessible via IIIF, we are working on a simple IIIF manifest generator written in Python. Um, I know little about how other institutions create their manifests. This part of the IIIF workflow somehow feels a bit arcane. So um, I created a slide to show how we do it. We just started out and came up with this simple solution. Um, the basic idea is to create static manifest files based on configuration and metadata files with one command. These can be easily uh, recreated when changes are necessary. So um, after we had lent the book from the bishopric and had scanned it, this was the first um, problem to be solved to get started. Um, uh, here we can, for example, compare now the catalogs facsimiles with a print edition from 1928 using Mirador. Thirdly, we are working on a TEI XML representation of the catalog's content. A main interest here is its historical genesis. Uh, here we have a HTML text view where we can choose between the first draft of the text from 1474. Um, yeah, no, you you could uh, you could see um, the. Uh, when it is less text, it is the first draft from 1474, and the version with more text is the text with um, the supplements from later years. Uh, we would like to set up a similar time journey option for IIIF canvas views. This might be implemented as image layers stacked over each other with selectable degrees of opacity or transparency. The physical material can be uh, pretty complex with different layers of visible and, and hidden text. For example, it might happen that um, on the first draft, from the early years, there was paper glued on and there was more text written on the glued on notes. But uh, if you hold a strong light behind the page, you can, you can read the, the layer that was uh, glued over, there might be um, text scr scratched away. Um, to put these pieces together, we are currently experimenting with the DivaJS IIIF image viewer. We like this particular viewer because of its adaptability and expandability. We wrote a few plugins for DivaJS and created a basic test interface around it to combine different sorts of content. We are still at an early stage, so everything looks pretty raw. So um, in, the, in the top right corner, you see some um, additional buttons which activate our plugins. So I'm, I'm just trying to start the video now. Okay, it's going. So 
um, on the left side, there are triple IF images, and on the right side, some corresponding HTML text is, is loaded, piggyback. And the triple IF images and the HTML text are still um, different entities. Um, so we, we can have different views of the text. We can, uh, the, we can arrange the content in columns or in rows. And the, the row view is good to, to read the long lines of text. Uh, we can also have image only or text only. So this way, um, the IIIF viewer became a text viewer. Um, the important thing for us is that we needed to do very little coding because the viewer already gives us the framework yeah, in, in which we can just attach our HTML code to the IIIF canvases. Um, the, the difficult thing is to, to accommodate this, these large folios and amounts uh, of text on a small screen because the, the folios are, are huge. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a challenge. Um, now this, this system is very simple. I like, um, I'm, I'm thinking if we may, maybe should try to keep it um, so simple that we just need HTML, CSS, and good old plain JavaScript. Because um, we have, this way we have little dependencies. And this might um, make it easier to keep the edition preservable. So um, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Mark.